Hello to our fans online. I'm Rena Ninen. And I'm John Muller with the top stories on this Friday, November 1st. By all accounts, it's been a disastrous first month for Obamacare. It's due largely to the problems with that website, healthcare.gov. A document released by the House Republicans spells out just how poorly that website performed when it first opened. It says six people, six, successfully enrolled in insurance plans on October 1st. That number was up to 248 people by the end of the second day. The Obama administration says the numbers aren't official. It is the first enrollment report and it's due in mid-November. Top White House aides are strongly denying a report that the Obama campaign secretly considered dumping Joe Biden for Hillary Clinton in the last election. But the president's former chief of staff, William Daly, says in a new book that he researched what the switch would do for the president and ultimately decided it wouldn't matter. He called it simple due diligence. All right, some fascinating details about a new drug tunnel that was found under the U.S.-Mexico border, the nearly 600-yard tunnel equipped with lighting vents and an electric rail system. Authorities seized more than eight tons of pot, Whoa. 320 pounds of cocaine. While shutting it down, three men were arrested in the bust. It is the newest of nearly 80 such tunnels that have been found along the border since 2008. Amazing. Making dreams come true in Las Vegas for eight children on Halloween, Judge Cynthia Giuliana presided over the children's adoptions in costume as a fairy godmother. She even encouraged the kids to get in on the fun too. Some of the kids have waited years to find permanent homes. Judge Giuliani says she felt very much like a fairy godmother, granting the wishes of those children to find families they could love. Get more news anytime at newsabcnews.com. I'm Rena Nynan. I'm John Muller. Thanks for watching. This is World News Now, available anytime, anywhere you want it. Every day, more Americans choose ABC News, America's number one news source.